Hello, uh, today I'm doing an oil change on a Deisa Sandero uh, 2013 and uh, what you need for this is a um, oil filter removal tool such as this one because it's uh, pretty inaccessible a um, sump plug removal tool for some reason uh, Renault and Deisa have this square thing there's no reason to have this, everyone else has an Allen key or, uh, or like a 30 mil bolt but they decided to use this, so I had to buy one online um, and uh, it came in through the post. <coughs> they could have just done it differently and just allow everyone to use whatever tools they have, but they didn't. Um, and also you'll need a, a very small uh, uh, toolbox. I've got this for £15 from Halfords. Next I'm going to remove the oil cap, which on this particular engine has the dipstick part of it as well and this is horrible because you can never tell the level um, but again this is what Renault decided to go for so this looks like it's overfilled but it's actually not so once the oil filler cap is removed you can use a uh, container like this to drain the oil so I'll be going under the car now remove the sump plug and let the oil drain in this container While the oil is draining, um, I'll try and get to the oil filter, which is kind of tucked in down there, not very accessible. Uh, that's why you need a tool to take it out. I uh, don't know exactly how to position the camera. You're probably not going to see very much, but uh, at least you'll see it coming out. So now that the old oil filter is out, I can go ahead and uh, fit the new one. But uh, before I do that, I'll put a bit of oil on the seal here so that it's easier to slip and, uh, and tighten it in place. Although that's pretty much full of uh, oil, so it doesn't really matter, but it's just good practice. And I'll also put a bit of oil inside it, but don't put too much because when you flip it over, it's all going to leak out. It's just, just a bit to lubricate inside. So now that you've let the oil drain for some time, uh, it's time to put the plug back before you fill it with oil. Um, now generally you would change the plug or at least the washer, but I forgot to order one so this will be going back. I'll keep an eye to see if there's any leaks, but I don't think there will be. Make sure you start it off finger tight because you don't want to cross thread anything in there because if you do then you're in pretty big trouble.
This doesn't need to be very tight. It's usually got a copper washer which crushes nicely and, uh, and you shouldn't really get any leaks. So now that the drain plug is put back in, the oil filter is tightened, I've put back the intake uh, tube, it's time to fill the engine with oil and I'm using a 5W30 because uh, that's what the owner's manual said. It is a full synthetic for diesel. The book does say it needs to be something for engines with catalytic converters, but this is what I could find at uh, my local garage, so I'm going to use this. It doesn't specifically say that it's for engines with catalytic converters, but uh, I think it should be fine. So, as I mentioned in the beginning, uh, this is a dipstick and a filler cap and it's pretty narrow so it takes a very long time to fill this um, because if I, if I try to fill any faster it's just going to overspill. And also when you go to measure your oil level it's not very clear because the walls of the pipe or the filler cap um, are all covered in oil so your whole dipstick is going to be covered in oil so you won't really be able to tell but I kind of know how much oil needs to go in there um, so what I'll do is uh, I'll check the level um, I'll um, start the engine check the level again I'll leave a bit of oil in the bottle and carry it with me I'm gonna do a short drive and after that check the level again on a nice flat uh, air surface um, and uh, go from there So I've just filled the engine to the right level and if you look at the dipstick now you probably won't be able to tell um, but it looks like it's overfilled and as I said that's because of because the walls of the of the filling tube are all covered in oil and also the oil is very very clear but once I start the engine and uh, let it run for a bit you'll see this darkening um, that's because there's always some residue oil left in the engine and it tends to just color the, the fresh oil. So I'm now going to start the engine and uh, let it run for a bit and now is probably a good time to reset your um, dial that tells you how many miles you have until, um, until your next oil change. So this is it, it tells me 12,400, that's because I've just done it um, not, not long ago just to see how to do it. So what you do is you press this button until you reach this setting and then uh, you just hold the button down and then you'll see it start to flash and then reset. So there you go, it's now telling the car that a service has been done the car says uh, the oil drain interval is every 12,500 miles, but <clears throat> I wouldn't really let it go to that extent. I tend to change oil um, every 9,000 miles, but I'm not a mechanic, so please don't follow what I do. I just want to show to people that you can do a quick oil change on your car uh, in less than 30 minutes with a very limited amount of tools it's very cheap and it's really good for your engine so rather than pay <coughs> extortionate amounts at the dealers or at the mechanics do it yourself do it frequently keep your engine running um, and save yourself higher bills uh, at the end of your car's life 